guys and welcome to today's episode where today we are going to be having a look at something absolutely insane and when I say this I absolutely mean it so let's just go ahead straight into this so let's go ahead into our attack log and have a look at this replay right over here and as you already may have noticed we have found a base with over a million in loot quite a bit over a million in loot and that is absolutely insane I mean literally let me know how much your biggest loot rate is and this is kind of ironic because I had a person in my comment section asking me what the biggest amount of loot was I have ever found so here you go this is actually the biggest amount of loot I have ever found this is a crazy amount of loot over 1.4 million loot I think that is not quite sure I uh, didn't really check the numbers but here we go Valkyrie is going into the space with some giants and, so and my barbarian king that is my main trophy pushing army which I am going to be using for the time being at least and here we go our barbarian king raged up with some Valkyries taking out loads of structures John bomb going off dropping in that heal spell for those Valkyries to stay alive obviously I do want to get these trophies because I don't want to lose this raid so um, I'm sorry if the gameplay is sort of laggy I don't know what it is but I can't get it not to lag today so it is going to be a little bit stressful but it shouldn't lag too much I mean it does, it does lag a little bit but not too much um, but here we go our Valkyrie is taking out those units those structures trying to take out that cannon but those wizards are going to do the job our Barbarian King is on the bottom of the base with some Valkyries taking out the uh, other structures, taking out that Elixir Collector. Look at that Bob King just going ahead and going for the Elixir Storage, Elixir Collector, ignoring all the other structures. And here are the Heroic Minions I was talking about. As you can see, they are going into the center of the base and they are going to be taking out that Town Hall. So that is what I was really excited about because I always save 5 minions just in case we don't get the actual 50% and I also keep 10 archers as you can see I'm going to drop all of them over here on this gold mine and so they can take out the rest of the loot but we are up to 68% on the space minions going to be taking out that town hall giants trying to get through that compartment to take out the expo they are going to make it it's going to take them a little while but they are going to make it eventually and the gameplay is actually really lagging at the moment I don't know what it is I'm going to try and fix it hopefully it fixes hopefully my internet connection gets better uh, but anyways these minions they are taking out that dark elixir storage really really good indeed so we got a total amount of 723,000 gold 617,000 elixir and we only left about uh, 40,000 of each in the base so that was really good 71% 2 star on the space and also 12 trophies that is going to be a total of over 1.3 million in loot that is absolutely insane wow that is a crazy amount of loot and uh, let me just show you my actual attack log so um, here we go if we actually go into my attack log you can see I mainly win these attacks I actually only win these attacks I haven't had a loss yet but the loot isn't all that great I will admit um, as you can see only 16,000 gold 12,000 gold 50,000 gold but if we go further up you can see the loot actually gets better and better 120,000 gold 259,000 then obviously the giant loot rate we had and then it goes down again so I don't know what it is but I think I mean it is I, I don't know if it was only a lucky find or I don't know because I literally I'm going to show you a short clip right now of me actually getting another giant loot raid that was in my previous episode I didn't show the of the whole replay I just showed you a moment of that replay just to show you guys that I actually have found another base with an insane amount of loot and that was only yesterday so this wasn't like two weeks ago it was literally yesterday so let me just show you the short clip so you can see what sort of amount of loot I got I just wanted to show you the warlock and here it is this is what it looks like this is my actual um, not the warlock sorry my attack log why am I confusing myself so much in this episode but anyways as you can see my attack log is full of wins I haven't lost a single raid yet so that is awesome um, to be honest with you guys on this trophy push on the push I did two I started two days ago I have only lost a single battle and that was against a town hall 10 with inferno towers i absolutely failed that attack so that was horrendous and uh, actually is there this loot bonus the giant loot bonus um the giant loot raid actually i think it is this one let's go ahead and have a look at it real quick so yes as you can see this guy had an insane amount of loot that was really awesome i'm not going to show you the actual attack now because we do not have time for it but i just wanted to show you the loot up here it is pretty good so if you do want to farm in masters one league that is the place to be right now okay so guys as you saw from that tiny little clip you can see that was also an insane amount of loot 
So now to end off this episode, I just wanted to show you this 99% because this was absolutely insane. And by the way, I restarted my PC and my iPad. So hopefully the gameplay doesn't lag this time. So here we go. Going in on this base, on my base, obviously, the enemy is called Kratos18 from the clan Target Killers. And he is going in with a Go Wipe with Valve. So the gameplay is still sort of lagging, but not as bad as previously. So here we go. He is going in with the Golems the wizards and the actual pekkas now he is dropping his valkyries let's see what sort of damage he can do obviously we know what sort of damage he is going to do to our base but let's have a look at the actual attack so i do have three valks in my clan castle two wizards and a single archer so here we go he is going in with those pekkas dropping a heal spell a raid spell just dropping in all of those spells uh, he doesn't have a poison spells for those actual uh, skeletons so that is going to be a problem for his pekka but here he goes his queen, wow, that did a lot of damage to his queen, those giant bombs, that did a lot of damage to his queen, I did not expect that. So here we go, Pekka's in the center of the base, in the core of the base, the Valkyrie is going to go down right about now, there she goes, and here we go, he has a full health golem, well not a full health golem, but a full golem is what I mean, and this is looking really, really good for him, looking real good, so here we go, he has two wizards on the outside of the base, wow, sneaky, sneaky, but here we go, uh, why am I saying here we go so much in this video, I do not know, but anyways, his queen is targeting that mortar with some golems, and it is looking like this is going to be a freestyle, I mean, look at it, he still has one 1 minute and 30 seconds left and you may wonder to yourselves but wait he has only these structures left how can he get a 99% he has 1 minute and 30 seconds left well here you go guys if I zoom out you can see the Tesla troll this is a very 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 old trick and uh, I literally saw Smithy using this base and he was using it for his entire push to Titans and so I thought why not use this and literally not lying this actually worked out real damn well so as you can see at the end of this replay it will get really really clutch and i mean it still looks kind of impossible that he isn't going to get the three star because he literally has a single minute left a whole minute left but all of his troops are going towards one tesla obviously the king and the pekka they are really really slow queen going in on that tesla she is going to take it out with ease and here she goes let's actually speed this replay up on times two and uh, you will see this queen is almost going to go down on this tesla and here we go tesla versus queen who's gonna win wow okay so the queen actually won let's uh, go this one time slow so let's do this one time speed as you can see the queen going in on that tesla who is going to win this time tesla wins what is going to happen now 99% we have the barbarian king two pekka three mini barbarians going against that tesla is it going to be enough and here he goes the king and no he didn't have enough time wow and the gameplay actually lagged towards the end it is lagging right now but wow the king that was literally so clutch he only needed i think a single hit off of that tesla and that would have been the three star for this guy but wow that was intense that was really intense that is also very good for me, obviously, because it didn't get that 3-star. But wow, I was watching this live, and I was literally just... I, I didn't I didn't know what to do. I was in a just stable mode. I, I was literally... I can't even explain it. I'm just speechless. So anyways, this is the absolutely insane replay I wanted to show you, all, uh, as well as the actual loot raids. So that is going to literally be it for this episode, guys. I just wanted to show you that the loot up here is pretty good if you find the correct bases. Obviously, having a look at my attack log, the loot isn't the greatest, I know. But from these two replays, you actually saw, well, actually the one replay and the one short clip. You can see that you can actually find really good bases. So that is something you guys can keep in mind. If you do want to farm, I would recommend about Masters 1. Not Champions League, but Masters 1 League. That is a pretty good league to farm in. And so, yeah, if you guys want to farm and you are a Town Hall 9, you should go up into Masters League and take some good armies like the one I am using currently. 8 Valkyries, 16 Giants, 10 Archers for cleanup and 10 Wizards. And then literally just 8 Wall Breakers and throw in some Minions or some Barbs, I don't know. Just for clean them up. And uh, yeah guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do make sure to smash that like button. Also comment down below what your biggest loot raid ever is. That would be greatly appreciated. Would be awesome to see what sort of loot raids you guys have found. And also if you haven't already, please do make sure to subscribe to my channel for daily content. And with that being said, I'll see you next time guys. Peace out.